In this video, I'm going to address the dget function in Ogogo Sheets. So what is it and how does it work? Let's look at how first understand what the dget function is. Now the dget function returns a value. If we give it the database, our first argument here is a database. Then the field is the column of the value that we want to return. If we want to return a value in col the column named category, so which are our field be category. If we want to return a value in receipt, our field will be receipt. Then last will be the criteria. And for the criteria, we need to give it the heading and the value. So how does this work? In this case, our database will be A1 to E9. Then our field is gonna be the heading of the heading that contains the value that we want to return. And the criteria can be any of these fields, but remember we need to give it the heading and the value. For example, if I want to return vegan under category, my database would be A1 to A9. Then my field, because I'm returning a value under category, so my field will be category. And then uh, my key or my criteria, I'm going to use the column key to be our criteria. So vegan is under three. So I'll give it key as, as so my criteria will be a1, which has the key, and the three here. So let's see how we're going to get that. So I type dget here. I give it our database, comma. I want to return a, a value in which column? I want to return a value in the category column. So my category is right here. I can either put it in quotes and say category, or I can refer to a cell like so, comma. The next one is the criteria. So the criteria is this one here, the key and the value in the, and the value of the key. So when I close my brackets, hit enter, you see I return began. So all what it does, it goes into this database, it looks at the column that you want to return, then looks at the key, and where the three intersect with the column is the value that it returns. So in that way, I can change the column to calories. So it will go under the column of calories and look for a three, like so, and then return 100. So this is how it works. If I put preparation, so it will go to three, then move across preparation, return a three. Of course, I can change the key here. I can put a five. Now, when I put a five, it goes across. Then under preparation, it finds a 14. The intersection of the preparation column and the five I've selected here is what gives the value to be returned. In direct, it works like an index and match function. If you don't know how to use the combination of the index and match, I do have a video on that. Please check my channel and you'll learn more. So this is how the dget function works. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and see you in the next video.